lost my home and relationship and jobs had dried up. Like within, after my mom passed, within a year, I was doing like maybe five or six different voiceover jobs that were contiguous. They all ended. I have a steady Scorpio jet. Well, I mean, we, we are very, um, if we like you, we like you. Mm. And we, if, we re, if we call you family, it's real. And you get, even family gets a couple of times. But if you burn it, it's burnt. Mm. It's burnt. And there's no real, you know, because it takes a lot to burn it. Yeah. Yeah, so when it's burnt, it's done. In terms of the, that spirituality um, question, do you think that has kind of became a reason why you still continue to pursue uh, just entertainment, the arts? Um, I think it's why I'm here. This is the thing um, mm. that I was put here to do. Um, at, what, at one point after my mom passed um, and kind of lost everything, I was trying to figure out, I was sitting in a friend of mine's house. I would, had lost my home and relationship and jobs had dried up. Like within, after my mom passed, within a year, I was doing like maybe five or six different voiceover jobs that were contiguous. They all ended um, because I went down here to take care of her. Um, I wasn't able to keep my home because mm. I spent all my money to make sure she was okay and that she had everything she needed. And so I was sitting in my friend's house and I was like, well, you got to get a job, something. And I was sitting there trying to figure out what could I do? And I was like, you can't go work in no Target. You can't go work in a restaurant. You, you can't do that. Mm. That's not why you're here. So figure it out. Mm -hmm. Figure it out. Figure out how to do what you put here to do. Yeah. And that's what I've been doing. Figuring out how to do what I've been put here to do. Yeah. In terms of the space you are now, do you feel like you've gotten closer to that answer? I think I'm more comfortable with the journey. I don't know how close I am to the answer. Mm -hmm. um, but I do feel that I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. Like I'm on, um, on the right journey. You know? Uh, I don't have all the answers. It still can be rocky. It's still um, iffy sometimes. But I take solace in the fact that I feel I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. You never thought about a one-man show? I've done several. Okay. I've done several. I can see that being a moment. Like, I'm talking about one that's like reintroduces you to the audience. I don't know. I just, I kind of can see that. Because mm. I feel like in your spirit and talking to you, you know that there's whatever happened in the past was the past, but there's still more. There's still incline. Oh, absolutely. And I can kind of see that you like, hey, that was that was cool. That was, mm -hmm. but I still that full circle moment. I think you're kind of like waiting. Mm -hmm. Where I can use everything that everything I've learned. Everything you to... went through. Mm -hmm. And it's it coming. Makes sense. Yeah. It's coming. Yeah. Um. Final question. When people do look at your body of work, they see what you've done on film, they see what you've done in music, what are you hoping that they say? That this is an artist who is committed to his craft and committed to his people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Straight like that. Let me say this too. Why do you think it's so important? Or what, what do you feel the drive is to make sure that you are committed to us and our people. Like, what is it? A if we don't, who will? I mean, we're taught as, as artists to give our stuff away to everybody else, to make it okay for them, mm -hmm. to make it pal palatable for them, to fix it so they like it. It's like, well, but what do we do for us? And so if mm. I can, if I have fame, if I have celebrity, what good is it if it does not do something to elevate my culture? Give me a better table at a restaurant. Give me free drinks on the airplane. 
Yeah, well, we've seen a lot of your peers have done that. Mm -hmm. I got money now. Hey, mm -hmm. keep all that woke conscious. Mm -hmm. It's their journey. Yeah. I'm on my journey. I can't, I can't come against wherever somebody else wants to be. I can say that that's not what I want to do. That's not what I believe. Mm -hmm. But if that's who you are, that's who you are. Be who you is. That's what John used to tell me. Be who you is, shout it. You said who? John. John who? John Hinton. John Hinton. He okay. Said, Be who you is, shout it. <laughs> so, yeah, just, you know, I take people for who they are mm -hmm. and understand that when you show me, then there are reactions that are going to be to that. It's gonna, I'm going to react to what you show me. Mm -hmm. You know, so I'd rather you be real because I am. <laughs>